Hey what is up guys, in this episode we're gonna learn how to use the swiping mechanic. So pretty much when you hold your click and then you go either uh, right, left, up or down, you can detect if you are swiping. We're gonna be doing that for uh, the x-axis, the y-axis, and we're also going to be tackling the diagonal axis in the end. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, let's take a look at the current scene we have right here. So basically, I've got this object. And um, I've also got a script attached to my camera and whenever I press on, say, the right um, arrow key or the left arrow key just like this, well, I rotate around my object basically. And I also have the up and down, as you can see. And pretty much in this episode, what we're going to do is replace um, the, the arrow keys for swiping instead. So let's take a look at the current script I have. We only need to check the update, so instead of the update, Okay, so let's take this over here and replace it with the swiping mechanic. So to do that, I'll create a script that is going to allow me to check uh, the, the swiping status from anywhere in my code, basically, in case I want to reuse it for something else. So I'll go ahead and create myself a new script, and I'll call this something like swipe manager, or you could just call it swipe. I'll name mine uh, swipe manager, but of course the name doesn't really matter. Okay, so let's go ahead and clean this up like we always do. Alright, so I'll start by declaring myself some private field, the first one being a vector3 that I'll call touch position, and I'm putting it inside of a vector3 because that's what we get from a mouse boss. Now two other fields I'd like to add is uh, two floats, and the first one is going to be swipe resistance in X, that I'll put at say uh, 50, and also swipe resistance in Y that I'll put at a hundred. I want, I want it to be harder to swipe up and down than it is to swipe left and right. Now that we have this information, all we need to do is keep track of whenever the, the user is putting his finger on the, uh, on the device and when it, he's releasing it. So basically we need to listen to two of these events. And we'll do that uh, in a update. So a simple update, let's go ahead and declare a private void update. And inside of here, we are going to do if input that get mouse button down at the index zero. Um, if it happens, so if somebody puts his finger on a device, we are going to say touch position is equal to input dot mouse position. Now this returns in a vector three, which is why uh, I've put a vector three up here as well. Okay. So it's, it's as simple as this, so whenever someone presses on the screen, we're simply going to record where exactly have you press in uh, screen coordinates. So once that is done, we are going to go down here and say if input dot get mouse button up, same index, index zero. And now whenever you release the button, that's that's where you're actually going to do the uh, the math. So let's start with a vector two this time that we'll call delta swipe. And this delta swipe is pretty much just going to be the difference in between where you put your finger and where you released it. So we're going to do touch position minus input mouse position. Okay. Now once that is completed, we are going to check. Um, is your delta swipe bigger than the resistance that we've put up here? And we're going to do that with um, each axis. And we're going to do that with both axes because we want to be able to differentiate uh, which kind of swipe is it. Is it a, a left swipe or a right swipe, a up, down, or even diagonal? So let's start with a if mathf.absolute and then we're going to get the delta swipe.x. So in case this value is negative, it is now positive for the uh, the scope of this of this uh, if statement. So if this is bigger than the swipe resistance, it means that we actually got a swipe on the x-axis. Now we still don't know which side the uh, the swipe is going, but at least we know a swipe is happening. Now let's just put that in comment over here and make sure we come back to it a little bit later. So we're simply going to say uh, swipe on the x-axis. And we're going to do the exact same thing below that, but this is going to be for the Y axis. Now make sure you change the delta swipe Y and also the swipe resistance Y. Okay, so now as for storing the value, what I'd like to do is actually create a uh, flag enum. So up here, 
above my class, I will go ahead and create myself a public enum that I'll call swipe direction. And you'll see what this does in a moment. We're going to start by declaring none. So when there is no swipe, this is going to equal zero. When there is a left swipe, it's going to equal one. Right swipe is going to equal two. Up is going to equal four and down is going to equal 8. And um, that's pretty much just a bit flag, so we have to increment by times 2 every single time, except for this one. None is always going to stay 0, and then after that, we can simply do 8 times 2 every single time we create a new uh, a new field in the enum. So, so basically, we're going to keep track of the direction we're swiping in using this new field up here that we've made. Not new field, new type. So um, basically just go ahead and take this. We are going to declare a public property in our swipe manager that we'll call uh, direction. So let's go ahead and do public swipe direction and direction. Make sure you put the set get at the very end because this is going to be a property. And also what I like to do is put a capital letter. All right, so now that we've got our property up here, let's go ahead and uh, start filling in our values. So in the update, on the first line, I'm going to do direction is equal to swipe direction dot none. So every single time, every single frame, we reset the swipe uh, to, to nothing. And then if a swipe happens, we're going to check this out right here, right after putting it on zero. Okay, so if get mouse button down, that's fine, we can just keep on going, and over here, this is where we actually need to say, okay, a swipe happened, so uh, put that inside of the direction value. All right, so now the way we're going to do this is we are going to increment uh, using the pipe operator. So go ahead and type in direction, pipe equal, and then we have to give it a swipe direction. So say uh, we know that it's on the x-axis, we could be saying uh, swipe direction dot left, so now this direction would be added to the direction here. But since we don't know if it's either left or right, all we know that it is on the uh, x-axis, we're going to do it inside of a ternary operator. So let's go ahead and open up the uh, parentheses and we're gonna say delta swipe dot x is smaller than zero. So if delta swipe dot x is smaller than zero, that would mean that um, our swipe direction would be right. So, all right, so if this is true, then we're putting the swipe direction right, else we're going to put the swipe direction left, just like this. Let's copy this line and actually put it down here as well. So direction is plus equal to uh, delta swipe. If delta swipe dot y is smaller than zero, that would mean um, that we go swipe direction up. If that is false, then this is swipe direction dot down. Just like this. Okay. All right, so we got pretty much all we need. Now, in terms of using this, uh, it is still too annoying for me. I'd like to actually be able to call it from anywhere in the code and simply say, um, are, am I swiping left or am I swiping right? As fast as that. I don't want to be having to... Um, create a new component and had a reference to that component, that's just too annoying for me. So what I'll do is I will create a private static swipe uh, manager instance up here. So private static swipe manager that I'll call instance. Now to access it, I'll be using a public static swipe manager and I will simply put a get on it. I will not do the set. So this is almost like a singleton, but it's not really protected. It's not uh, it's not dumb proof. So basically, make sure that you don't have. Uh, oops, I forgot to put it into this. So make sure that you don't have two swipe manager in your scene. That's that's all you need to make this work basically. And also, um, before the update, we're actually going to add a start. And in the start, you're gonna have to say instance is equal to this. Okay. Now let's go ahead and put this in practice so you can actually uh, see what's going on. So what I'll do is I will go ahead and just drop my swipe manager pretty much. You, you could be putting it anywhere, it doesn't really matter, but I'll just drop it right here, why not, on my camera. 
Alright, now that it is on the camera, I'm actually going to go ahead and try to call it from outside my code, outside my swipe manager code. So over here, what I've used to do is uh, input that get key down key code left. Instead, I will be doing swipe manager dot instance dot is swiping. So that's the function we just made. And then you have to send in a um, swipe direction. So what I'll do is ask swipe direction dot left. And now this returns me a boolean and it pretty much should work. So whenever I'm swiping left, this should trigger and I can do slide camera. Um, just like before. So let's go ahead and try this out. I'm swiping up, doesn't work. Swiping right, doesn't work. Down, doesn't work. Now, what if, if I do left? And as you can see, this now works. I'm trying to be as loud as possible with my mouse so you can actually tell when I'm clicking. <laughs> Alright guys, um, I'm gonna go ahead and change this up a little bit. So say like this, uh, this, is, this would be right this would be up and finally this would be down let's give it back in our code I mean in our game so swiping right swiping down up left everything seems to be working just fine now before we end this video I'd like to add one more thing so I'm going to show you how to do it using the uh, diagonal axis. So say I'm simply going to comment this out. Now this should only happen, so the, the, the sliding mechanic that you see on the screen should only happen when I'm um, swiping left right now. But if I do swipe direction left uh, and then I, I add a pipe in between them and I do uh, swipe direction dot say down, then this would mean we have to swipe left and we have to swipe down at the same time. So let's try only swiping left. Doesn't work. Only down doesn't work. Now diagonal. It does work. So basically, uh, this is how you do the diagonal swiping mechanic. Now you could also add this in the enum. So basically, if you go down here and you want to check, am I swiping left and down at the same time? All you have to do is take your two in, uh, your two values and just add them together. So say uh, left down is equal to basically just nine because we did one plus eight. Now we could be doing that for pretty much uh, the rest of the value. So left up is equal to one plus four. So that's five. What if we do right down? Uh, right is two, down is eight. So that's 10 and then right up. So that's six. And that's how you can actually add the uh, diagonal axis. So let's give it back, try this out. Instead of left, let's do um, right up. Why not? Okay, press play on this. Swiping right doesn't work, up doesn't work. Now both at the same time. As you can see, it now works. So guys, that's pretty much how um, I'm handling the swipe right now for this little mechanic that I've just made. And I hope it was helpful for you guys, so um, if you learned anything, or if you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like, I really appreciate it. And also if you have any question or comment, please leave them in the comment section below, I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next episode.